Hello, I'm drinking a Crooked Stave Hazy IPA for the first time in years. Five, six, seven years ago, Crooked Stave shipped a lot of stuff to New England, including some Hazy IPAs that were, were pretty good. They even had a bread IPA can, Hop Savant. Wish they would do that again. <clears throat> um, this is from Colorado, 6.8% alcohol. Looks like it's a different sort of version than they've done before. 6.8 when it used to be 6.2, at least that's what Untap says. And dry hopped with Galaxy Brew 1 and HBC 638. <clears throat> um, haven't had Brew 1 in a while, but Brew 1 is kind of like a hop that people use if they can't get Citra or, or something like that, but Citra is the most widely um, grown hop in the world, so it's kind of an old school thing to to not be able to get Citra Mosaic. Um, all right, so let's jump in. This is canned July 31st. Um, so it's a little over a month old. Hopefully it's still in good shape. We'll see. <clears throat> it's quite hazy. Not super hazy. There you go, Mount, mountain rain. Heads, pretty nice looking. Hopefully it's not over carved. Do we have any sediment? Ooh, looks like we do. Let's see if I can get that in there. Nice creamy head. Yeah, whenever the head can peek up over the side like that, that's usually a good sign. Mountain rain. It smells a little old though. It's like, I hate this. Why? Why? It's the summertime, I guess, but the shop that I got this from looks like they kept it in the fridge always. I, <clears throat> maybe not. I don't know. It's just, it's just, uh, it's a sad thing that so many IPAs, especially these hazy ones, get oxidized from how they're handled. And also, usually, if you can you can really package these beers and get the oxygen level really, really, really low and make it and make it stay good like Treehouse and Alchemist and places. <clears throat> but whatever. Yeah, why is that so, how, how is it? It's like just a little over a month old and it was al already kind of basically ruined. I shouldn't have bought it probably. And now it's like, I mean, the flavor's better. There's still a little bit of old hop in there, but it's it almost has like a fruit. It's just like berry, mixed berry fruit tea, I would say. There's a little bit of a minerally thing in the background. Like it, even though it's been so long, it does remind me a bit of the the Crooked Stave Hazy IPAs I had years ago. Um, <clears throat> and that like it's hazy, but it's not super murky. And it has a little bit of this dry minerally finish, almost salty. Um, so pretty good, but I'm probably not gonna buy any Crooked Stave IPAs unless I can find them insanely fresh. And I might, that may never happen. That's, that's why there are so many IP, hazy IPAs I don't ever drink is because I never see them under two months or a month old. <clears throat> Even though this one's, it's a pretty well-made beer. And it's interesting, the Galaxy isn't just blowing everything out of the water. There's a little bit of that greeny, green menthol, unripe pineapple. But this HBC 638, I wonder if that's the one that was recently named. Um, some kind of fish. I can't even think of it now. It's not. It's not mackerel. <laughs> uh, not tuna. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> but it's yeah. It's, it's it's a unique hop character. As I drink it, the galaxy is coming out more and more. Um, but at first, it was, it was almost like English IPA berry, berry tea sweet kind of you know raspberry strawberry 
blackberry sort of blend of things. Yeah, there's not that much old hop character. It just has lost. Like it doesn't have that much aroma. Um, definitely has has flavor and it's pretty good. Not much body. I I feel like they might uh, excuse me. They might over use too many um, salt treatments. You know, like powder, like calcium chloride, calcium sulfate. Um, I call it salts just because they're kind of powdery like salts, but it's not actually salts, but they can kind of have a salty-ish sort of flavor to them. And that's the key to nailing a lot of the body and, and the quality of a lot of these IPAs <clears throat> is getting the balance of the minerals you add to the beer. Like actually, it really seems like Crooked State is kind of going for a Hill Farmstead type with the, the high minerals. <clears throat> And they're not, not too much haze and that kind of dry lip smacking sort of finish. Which also, that reminds me of Sloop. Um, but I can't, I can sort of recommend this. Like, yeah, if you can find this and it's really, really, really fresh, then maybe you're in luck. <laughs> um, and it's kind of, it's difficult to rate this one. I think that lip smacking sort of dry minerality thing is just too much of it with this one. If, if it hadn't <clears throat> been displaying some old hop oxidation, this would have been a really great flavor wise and aroma wise, probably. And it's hard to know whether to blame the brewery or did this, you know, a couple weeks ago when it was really hot, did this happen to just sit and get to 85 degrees for a little bit? And then it's sat for another few weeks in the fridge and just slowly those flavors were lost and the batter was developed. I don't know. Um, that's the struggle. The never ending struggle. <laughs> um, trying to drink hazy IPAs and trying to drink new ones too. All right, whatever, bye.